NASA astronauts reveal critical Starliner issues following SpaceX rescue mission. The recent successful rescue of NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams following a critical malfunction aboard the Boeing Starliner has sparked significant discussion within the space community and raised critical questions about the reliability and safety of the spacecraft. Their return, facilitated by a SpaceX Dragon rescue mission, highlights not only the resilience of the astronauts, but also the urgent need for a thorough investigation into the problems encountered by the Starliner. The incident, which left the astronauts stranded for an extended period, underscores the high-stakes nature of space travel and the importance of robust safety protocols. Initial reports from the astronauts paint a concerning picture of the Starliner's malfunction. The primary issue appears to be a cascade of failures centered around the spacecraft's propulsion system, specifically involving helium leaks and thruster malfunctions. These problems manifested as escalating issues during the mission, culminating in a situation that required immediate intervention. The protracted nature of the problem, necessitating a significant delay and ultimately a rescue mission, underscores the gravity of the situation and the critical role of a backup plan. The unexpected nature of the incident calls into question the robustness of the safety mechanisms in place and the overall reliability of the Starliner. This incident has serious ramifications beyond the immediate rescue mission. It raises significant concerns regarding the safety of the Starliner and its future operational readiness. The extended period of time the astronauts were stranded in space significantly increases the potential long-term health implications. The extended exposure to microgravity and elevated radiation levels, combined with the unforeseen technical issues, necessitates a thorough post-flight analysis to assess potential long-term physiological impacts. Furthermore, the incident has implications for future space missions and international partnerships. The reliance on a SpaceX Dragon rescue mission highlights the critical importance of robust backup systems and the potential interdependence of different space agencies in crisis situations. The prolonged duration of the Starliner's malfunction also underscores the need for more robust, redundant systems to prevent such incidents from escalating into potentially life-threatening situations. The intricate challenges inherent in space travel, particularly the complexities of maintaining a spacecraft's functionality in the harsh conditions of space, are underscored by this incident. The technical complexities of space travel, combined with the unforgiving environment and the potential for unforeseen circumstances, demand meticulous planning, rigorous testing, and a strong safety net to mitigate risks and ensure the well being of astronauts. The scrutiny that this incident has brought to the forefront will undoubtedly spur critical reviews of all relevant systems, components, and protocols ultimately aiming to prevent similar situations in the future. The thorough investigation and analysis of the Starliner incident will be crucial in determining the future of human spaceflight and ensuring the safety of future missions. Astronauts Wilmore and Williams returned to Earth, though a relief prompted immediate concerns about the effects of their extended stay in space. Their need for mobility assistance and apparent muscle weakness and balance issues were clear signs of microgravity's impact. The extended mission, far exceeding the original plan, turned into a grueling test of human resilience and technological adaptability. Initial statements emphasized the safe return, but visible signs of physical change, particularly in Williams's appearance, fueled discussion about the physiological consequences of prolonged space travel. The episode investigates the physical and mental toll, examining the potential long-term effects of this extended mission on the astronauts' health. The episode delves into the complex science behind the astronauts' physiological adaptations to the unique environment of space. The absence of gravity significantly affects the musculoskeletal system, leading to a decrease in bone density and muscle atrophy. Experts explain how the body's fluid shifts in microgravity affect facial features, potentially contributing to swelling. Conversely, fluid loss in the lower body can occur impacting leg and foot health. These fluid shifts also influence vision and balance. The impact on the cardiovascular system with a possible decrease in aerobic capacity and blood circulation changes is examined. The episode also highlights the effect on the immune system and the increased risk of long-term health problems from radiation exposure. These issues are not just theoretical, 
They present a concrete threat to astronaut health and the success of future long-duration space missions. The crucial scientific understanding of these physiological changes is essential to mitigating risks and optimizing astronaut health in future space exploration. The extended period in microgravity significantly impacts the musculoskeletal system. Decreased bone density and muscle atrophy, often leading to a loss of strength, are key concerns. This deconditioning can increase the risk of fractures, both immediately after return and in the long term, impacting mobility and overall health. The absence of gravitational resistance weakens muscles, especially those in the legs and back creating difficulties for astronauts in supporting their own weight upon return. This is further complicated by the potential for fluid shifts, which can significantly affect balance and overall physical function. The episode explores the specific mechanisms behind these impacts, emphasizing the importance of understanding and mitigating the effects of prolonged weightlessness on astronauts' physical capabilities. The crucial need for post-flight rehabilitation programs is underscored designed to help astronauts regain their strength and well-being. The space environment significantly affects the neurological system, impacting vision and balance. Microgravity disrupts the vestibular system in the inner ear, impacting spatial awareness and potentially leading to issues like disorientation and motion sickness, even after return. The episode highlights the crucial role of the inner ear in maintaining balance and spatial orientation emphasizing how these systems are affected by the absence of gravity. Radiation exposure during extended missions is also a critical concern, potentially increasing the risk of long-term health problems, including cancer. The effects on the immune system, potentially compromised by the unique environment, are also explored. The episode underscores how space travel affects fundamental physiological processes. Emphasizing the importance of understanding these effects to ensure the health and well-being of astronauts on extended missions. These factors are vital to developing effective countermeasures and support systems. The prolonged spaceflight impacts astronauts' physical appearance and health in various ways. Weight loss, a common experience, results from fluid shifts and altered appetites. The lack of essential vitamins, often due to the limited fresh food options in space, may contribute to skin fragility and slower healing rates. The episode explores the impact of prolonged exposure to the space environment on various biological processes, emphasizing the impact on skin health and nutrition. The discussion underscores the importance of tailored nutritional plans for astronauts during extended missions. The episode also discusses the potential for temporary changes in gene expression, as highlighted by studies involving astronauts like Scott Kelly. This underscores that the human body adapts to and is affected by the absence of gravity on a cellular level, necessitating comprehensive understanding and support systems for extended space missions. These effects extend beyond immediate concerns, impacting long-term health and well-being after return to Earth. NASA's meticulous medical evaluation process following extended space missions is a crucial component of astronaut care. Post-flight assessments at Johnson Space Center analyze the full impact of extended missions on astronauts' physical well-being. Comprehensive tests cover various physiological systems, including blood work, electrolyte levels, kidney and liver function, endocrine profiling, and cardiovascular health assessments. Bone density scans, DXA, are employed to detect any bone loss resulting from weightlessness. Beyond internal evaluations, astronauts also undergo dermatological, ophthalmological, and audiological exams to assess potential skin, vision, and hearing changes. This rigorous evaluation process aims to identify any immediate and potential long-term health consequences of prolonged spaceflight. The episode emphasizes the vital role of these assessments in understanding the full spectrum of effects space travel has on the human body and for developing targeted rehabilitation strategies. The multifaceted approach underscores NASA's commitment to astronaut health and safety. Post-flight rehabilitation programs at NASA are meticulously designed to address the specific needs of astronauts returning from extended space missions. These programs, led by NASA's Astronaut Strength Conditioning and Rehabilitation ASCR, specialists, typically last several weeks and are tailored to each astronaut's individual medical needs and mission experience. The program is divided into phases, focusing on restoring basic mobility flexibility, and muscle strength. 
Astronauts undergo exercises, gait training, and obstacle courses to improve balance and coordination, and participate in cardiovascular conditioning. Neurovestibular rehabilitation helps counter the dizziness and balance issues often experienced due to microgravity's effects on the inner ear. The recovery process also involves progressively increasing exercise intensity to rebuild stamina and peak physical condition. The thorough rehabilitation programs are essential for astronauts to regain their optimal physical and cognitive function after the stresses of extended space travel, enabling a safe and successful return to Earth and facilitating future missions. The extended ordeal endured by astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams serves as a stark reminder of the potential for unforeseen technical issues and the profound physiological impact of prolonged exposure to the harsh space environment. Their return to Earth, while ultimately successful, necessitates a thorough investigation into the root causes of the Starliner's malfunction and a comprehensive review of safety measures. The incident's repercussions extend beyond the immediate recovery of the astronauts. The potential long-term health consequences, including the risks of bone loss, muscle atrophy, and radiation-induced damage, demand careful consideration and further research. The episode underscores the critical need for a deeper understanding of the human body's physiological response to the unique conditions of space. The development and implementation of advanced countermeasures, both for the immediate and long-term health of astronauts, are essential for the success of future space missions. Furthermore, the incident forces a re-evaluation of the current safety standards and protocols employed in spaceflight. The reliance on a backup system, in this case, the SpaceX Dragon, highlights the importance of redundancy and contingency plans. The prolonged duration of the Starliner's malfunction also necessitates a critical review of spacecraft design, maintenance protocols, and potential systemic weaknesses. This incident urges the development of enhanced monitoring systems, predictive maintenance algorithms, and more robust backup protocols to mitigate the risk of similar incidents in the future. The meticulous medical evaluations and rehabilitation programs conducted by NASA following the return of the astronauts emphasize the commitment to astronaut health and well-being. This demonstrates a proactive approach to mitigating potential long-term health issues, a crucial factor for future space missions. The episode serves as a reminder that space exploration is a complex endeavor, demanding not only technological innovation, but also a profound understanding of human physiology. A proactive approach to safety protocols and a relentless commitment to minimizing risks and maximizing astronaut safety and well being. Ultimately, the safety and well being of astronauts should remain the highest priority in future space missions. This incident should serve as a catalyst for enhanced safety standards and technological advancements, thus ensuring the continued pursuit of human space exploration with optimal precautions.